Hello and welcome to our special preview show on the 2019-2020 Women's Premier League. This is our comprehensive build-up to the start of this weekend's league involving 16 of the country's top-tier women's football team. My name is Nanekia Mankwakwe. After so many months of waiting, we finally get to see the very best of women's football in Ghana. Yeah. We start off at Ampimdakwa Ladies, where we have been speaking with the club owner, Nana Pokuji Abuo, on how to improve women's football in Ghana. The great start to last year's NC special competition proved a real test for coach Joe Nana Adakwa, but he eventually got them through to the finals. It, however, ended in not exactly what the team expected, as the Nanama lost to Hazaka's ladies at the final game in Accra, albeit the loss, it was a high point in an otherwise turbulent campaign. The team started rather strongly, although missing the services of talismanic Prinsila Edubia, who had gone through surgery earlier, a not-too-smooth competition saw them scale up to the top of the northern zone, but lack of concentration in the final game culminated in a 3-2 defeat at the Elwak Sports Stadium. Heading into the new season, the exit of Grace Asantua, lethal forward Priscilla Edubia, and midfield Marshall Prislautri cast some doubt on the team's chances this season, but there could be some hopes of glimpses in the younger players who might just show up good during the season. Coach Joe Nana Adakwa has been speaking on these and many more. We all know how we are going to fight for the trophy. Bank ruler Nanapoku Fosuji Abuo II says he expects the women's game to improve. We have a lot of girls playing professional football in Europe and America. And there are a lot of girls who are on scholarship studying in America because of uh, women's football. Women's league is coming. Teachman, uh, they watch women's football and I really appreciate that. So they should keep their fingers crossed to see very good football coming up this 2019-2020 uh, season. The vacuum left after the exit of three of their most influential players need to be sealed and they have maintained that the standard will always be to win the title. We always expect the best for Ampemda Akuma. Since we are one of the best in Ghana, we are always ready to prepare and then we are hoping that we we'll still maintain the league and the trophy. Mm. Ampim we will play as we usually play. Everybody knows Ampim Dakwa the way we play, so nothing is going to change. It will be the same. And I'm very sure we can retain our title. From Ampim Dakwa, we turn our focus to Hazaka's ladies who are hopeful of a good outing this season. Despite their unconvincing start in the NC special game, Yusuf Basigi's club ended the competition on a high note. They won the competition. With that victory, coach Basigi, who has been with the side for 16 seasons, has secured four trophies for the Do Ladies, with three being National Women's League trophies. Hazaka's ladies topped the southern zone of the Women's National League in the 2017-2018 season with 17 points in the first round of matches before the league was truncated. However, the same shortcomings that marred the start of their campaign in the NC special competition, namely an error-prone defense and a lack of bite in midfield, still linger on with the exit of Janet Ejui and Linda Ishen. Aside the prolific front pairing of Milot Spokwa and Evelyn Bedu, Yusif Basigi has been busy overhauling his squad, having in mind the void left by some key players. Regina Entry, who returned from Hungary, was key in defence during the NC special competition and will continue her stint for the second D-base club in the new season. Milot Spokwa reflects on their past glory and hope this current squad will bring the trophy back to the West. Well, I you know, um, as Malidis, we are always prepared to do everything. And then, as you know, we are the champions in Ghana. And then, for now, we are prepared to start the league and then, 
as you know, players are around and then we, we are we are prepared and then we're just waiting for the league to start so that we know what to do. My target is to st score goals for my team and then to win the league and then be the top goal scorer. You are playing similar with your first game. What should we expect from you guys? Win. That is what we, we, we want you to expect from us. Rafia Al Hassan Kuche and Evelyn Bedu believe her small ladies will not disappoint the fans this season and are capable of beating Samira ladies in the first game of the season. We are not out to disappoint people, we are out to make Sekendi proud. We know that everybody is looking after us after the NC competition, so we are in for something good. Oh, Samira ladies are not all that tough team in such a way that maybe they are going to score as our case. No, it's not going to happen. So we are going to score them. Yes. Definitely we are going to grab our three points. Last competitive season, top of Southern Zone with 17 points plus six goals in the first round of the 2017-2018 league season. One to watch, Doris Bodua, an attacking midfielder who has just been recruited from lower division side, Nanefia Kobi and Pim Ladies. A new dawn awaits women's football, and one team that will be seeking to make an emphatic statement is Fabulous Ladies. I expect nothing but the best from our camp as well as the other teams. We are going all out for the ultimate, and that they should keep on supporting us. Um, and also to Ghanaians, um, as the president of the FA is saying that we should bring back the love. That is what all of us are expecting from Ghana is to support women's football, um, putting out um, their best and also watching our games. We are cool with the league. We hope to win. Uh, win for the cup. That's why we are training hard for the league. I hope all the supporters to support us hard for the league so that we can go high, high, high for the cup. A lot of attention will be on police ladies, one team that holds so much promise. With Janet Ayiyam in their fold, they hope to do better. Police ladies is one of the top sides in the southern zone, with an experienced team that could pull a surprise any time during the season. We have a good squad, but you know, in football, only three teams in football, either win or draw or lose. I mean, I prefer the two. Yes, so that's the thing. This league, I'm targeted to take the league. That's the point. No, any coach will train and say, you come to lose. Janet Ayayam and goalkeeper Fafali believes no team can stop them from claiming the glory. We've been playing for almost four years, getting to five years. We have never be picked the league before. But this year, we have made up our mind. We have prepared war, well, waiting for it. Because we are not going to let this league go. We are going to pick it this year. Yeah, I know this season or this league is not going to be easy. Because everybody is, is into it. Yes. But inshallah, they should just watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Women's League Preview Show. With me in the studio to talk more on this weekend start and the season as a whole is Madam Hilary Boate, who is the chairperson of Women's League Committee. Madam, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Nanakia. Are we ready for this weekend? I believe we are. Um, the, the excitement has been mounting and um, the, the teams have prepared. If, if you have followed them um, anyway, whether through social media or going there physically to their training uh, camps. And um, in terms of the FA support, that has also been done. So I think that we are ready. When you speak with the team, what, what, what sense of excitement do you get from them? Um, we, so we met with the teams last week, Tuesday, um, for a meeting. And um, we took them through the rules, the regulations. We were 
privilege to have had the, the new general secretary of the FA to sit in to take them through the new regulations um, and the ethics, what is expected of both the technical team, the players and the team as a whole. And it really went well based on the questions that were coming up. These are these are teams that are dedicated to the to the course of, of, of the women's league. Um, they, they are looking at it being successful. And so you get the sense that listen, they understand that this 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 season needs to be better in terms of the play on the field and also support from the referees getting fair officiating um, as well as the teams just basically going through the right uh, rules and regulations to make sure that everything goes on smoothly. So I think that I get the sense of excitement from the clubs as well. Your committee was put in place some months back. Um, what has been the roadmap so far in terms of preparation, security and match um, venues? Good question. So it was actually put together I think in November and uh, we quickly had a meeting, uh, meeting to you know familiarize catch up with everyone and then what, what we sought to do was to, to know what was as in where, where the women's league is currently what it was in the past and where we are looking to take it into the future we are looking at ensuring that right from the grassroots all the way up we have a very good league you know um, not even comparing it to the male but even surpassing it um, currently we have two two uh, zones so the northern and then the southern um, uh, zones and so we, we are just ensuring that both sectors are prepared and ready um, for the league and with the support like I said earlier um, of the current FA um, executive council the president um, who is very keen on women's football doing well and um, so what they they've done so far is given the teams an advance of 10,000. We are not saying it's, 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 it's enough, but we are duly appreciate it. It's a good stance, which money. all the teams have received. They have received their balls um, for the start of, of the season as well. And so what we, what the FA can do to support the teams, I believe they have done. I also, I also see that the teams have done a good job. What we in terms of the committee also are looking to do with the league this time around is to brand it better and make sure that there's that awareness out there because a lot of people do not really watch uh, or have not been watching uh, the women's uh, uh, leagues in the past and we are hoping that this season we would get an improved stadium attendance um, where people would get keen and, 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 and interest in watching uh, the women's football. The league, the, t the clubs have gone ahead based on what we, I think, um, spoke to them about. They've, they've, they've um, gotten liaison mm. officers, in which you are one of um, them that has been selected. And so that, I think, is also a good way of communicating what the clubs are doing to you know the the general populace and it, it's actually a good thing because you follow you go on social media now and you're impressed because you realize that there's more awareness on what the clubs are doing in preparation for the start of the league mm -hmm. and at, we as a committee with the support of the communications team in the gfa have also been putting out the countdowns we have videos that have been posted on the platforms and we we are sharing and you realize that Def, uh, suddenly there's this keen interest in, in, in the game. It's not enough, but I believe it's a good start. Thank you so much, Madam Hilary Boating. Thank you, Nanekia. Thank you. My pleasure. It's been a few days after she was reappointed to the position of head coach of the Black Queens. But elsewhere, Mercy Tegu will have to see to another challenge as the woman in charge of Halifax Ladies. Despite an abject campaign under coach Pani, which saw the team lying third from bottom in the 2017-2018 Women's League season, Halifax ladies will take pride in a mission-accomplished-like performance in the NC Special Competition. It is evident that the exit of coach Pani and appointment of the stylish black queen Mercy Tegu Kwaku proved a masterstroke as the team went on a sudden winning streak losing just one game in the group stage of the NC Women's Special Competition to any quarter-final berths. The Black Queen's gaffer seems to possess a magic wand with some special antiques and numerous football fans 
who usually throng the community for TDC Park, will attest to the total transformation. She returned from Egypt after participating in the FIFA CAF instructors course and a recent FIFA CAF coaching course in Pram Pram means much will be expected from her on the touchline. For Sina Akpo and Sina Tete, Constant Sewajiman and their likes are still around to serve portions of football delight to fans in the new season. They say, Musa train in a good pan. Yeah, prepare. Will it be attack or hardly fast? No, a few way. Then our target is here. Some of best player. Now my year, my show My show go. I met me a connection at camp. Halifax ladies will, however, be looking forward to win over few neutrals with their dub brand of football. That is it. <laughs> Head coach Mercy Tego Kwaku believes in time to improve the women's game to get the best for our national teams. Every team's target is to win the cup, the ultimate. Um, looking at the uh, performance of all the standard of these girls going through all the necessary training, I think the ladies are poised and I believe that the ultimate is the main aim. Now things are changing, everything is very dynamic. So as the time is changing, a team must also change. Um, there are so many technologies here and there, tactically and ta technically. So whatever I have that I need to impact, I have. And I believe that they're also going to put it into practice and not only Halifax. Last competitive season, play Sith in the Southern Zone with six points, three goals in the first round of the 2017-2018 league season. One to watch, Constance Sewajiman. The young playmaker has another opportunity to prove that she can cut it at the highest level. Immigration ladies will be hoping to win the title for the first time in the National Women's Premier League. Joining me in the studio here is Madame Anita Redominta, who is the assistant coach for Immigration Ladies. Madam, thank you so much for joining us here. Um, how are you prepared as a technical person um, for this season's league? Um, immigration Ladies is well prepared this season as compared to previous seasons. Um, fortunately for us, most, most often we've had injury problems but this season, I think it is better. And uh, when I look at the confidence level of my players, I see that it is going to be something very beautiful this season. Um, what is your expectation? I'm very excited, actually, because um, the atmosphere tells it all that this particular season, 2019-2020 season, is going to be excited, if not the most excited season so far. It's going to be better because... Um, we look at our experiences, especially with officiating. I believe this season is going to be much, much better. So that will bring out the creativity and the talent of the players. And it will make our game very beautiful. Yes, beautiful to watch. Yes. You talk about Adjoa Bayo, Gifty Apia, and having all the legends in yes. your camp. How good are they? They are on top. They are on top and they are very ready. Uh, it's unfortunate that um, Giftia Pia for now uh, has a little bit, she's not yet ready. Okay. But by the time we get to, I believe, the third week, she'll be ready for action. Okay, finally, your first game, what should we expect from you? <laughs> full excitement, full excitement, mind blowing football. I mean, come, I urge my supporters to come see uh, people like um, Faustina Chremi, who was the overall best player for the recent Amapele special tournament. Yeah. Yes, Romana too is there, uh, Leticia Zipi is there, mm -hmm. Sylvia Nelson. If you want to see young talent, showcase of young talent, mm -hmm. come and watch our game on Sunday. Coach Anita, thank you so much for joining us here in the studio. We wish you all the best for the season. Thank, thank you. you very much. Okay. Wrapping up our special previews on all the competing teams, it's Northern ladies who are leaving nothing to chance. With another season about to kick off, here's a quick preview of Northern ladies' chance in the National Women Premier League Northern Zone. Northern ladies had flourished in the last competitive season's first round of matches and came nail-bitingly close to topping the Northern Zone but placed second to Ampemda Koa. 
This achievement was chalked through the team's efforts spearheaded by Abdullahi Mukarama with her scintillating goal-scoring prowess. Jafar Rahma, a swift, versatile winger who doubles as an attacker, and Barkisu Isaku, who has been through the rank and file of all female national teams safeguarding the post. As far as recruitment goes, the team has had a relatively busy time securing the services of striker Rafia Hassan from Fabulous Ladies, Frederica Tokujo from Soccer Intellectual Ladies, and four young talents from the lower tier. We are fully prepared and we pray that people will pray for us. We need your praise. Without your praise, we can't do anything by our own. And they should wait for nothing but the best. Sumani Basiruddin is the head coach of Northern Ladies. Northern Ladies is always a very, very good when we are in the next season. We are always the toughest side in the Northern Zone with Abu and others. We don't always, uh, we don't always give them the easiest win and other things. Uh, but I expect that, inshallah, this year, as the league that just passed, we were second on the league uh, table. And this year, we're targeting to be the champions of the Northern Zone. And then, inshallah, on the media studies, we can uh, take it from there. One to watch, Dafo might just be the perfect replacement for Abdullah Mukarama, probably because of her versatility, skillfulness, and her activeness without the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Now, time for us to take a look at match day one fixtures. Let's get to hear what the fans are also saying. They should come to the stadium and then watch them, especially the police ladies. So I urge each and everyone to come to the stadium or go to the various like places to watch or witness the games because it's going to be very exciting here. Yeah. Looking for a, a, an improved women's football, the league, the national team, anything women's football. I want to see an improved one next season. A little have changed, not so much, but I hope the little that have changed will be uh, uh, something that would make people have that interest to come and watch us. It's been exciting over the years and coming up this season, I think the players have geared up for it. Not just the players, all clubs are with me because I think this, uh, this, this time around, the, the prize money on it and then certain uh, um, packages that is coming, um, I think it's because of that many, many teams, uh, more, mo most of the teams and the players are very excited. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nanekia Mankwakwe. Yeah, Nabahaliyah.